Greetings to the church executive, to Fivefold Ministry, to Ministries of Health, to the Church of La- at Large, Rock of Salvation Community Church, SOA2. Wherever you are, I greet you abroad, different countries. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I greet you, those of you who have tuned in from different places wherever you are. It is a joy for me to come in your homes and give you the word of encouragement, even as we are on our third day of our lockdown, as we are combating the pandemic of coronavirus. I believe you are settling down, you are trying to adjust, and I believe you are getting a joy because all what we are doing as a country, we are doing what is right. We are taking responsibility and ownership in order to put this cage of this pandemic under our feet. We believe that as we're doing this, we shall overcome, definitely. Because social distancing is the key. It's the one that is going to help us even as we are continuing with our hygiene, washing our hands and uh, distancing ourselves. Definitely, we believe in this 21 days God will do great and will do miracles in South Africa. And we are praying as a church that things may become even much better. We are praying for those that are infected, those that are ill in hospitals, and those that are in quarantine. We are praying that God may strengthen them, the Lord may heal them and recover them. And we believe that something good will happen in their lives. And my prayer is that all Christians, wherever you are, let's pray for our country. Let's pray. Because as a church, we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the world. The Bible says, if my people that are called by my name, humble themselves and pray. The Lord says, I'll hear them from heaven and I'll come and heal their land. And I believe as we are praying, God will do great and marvelous things. Therefore, let us not be fearful. Let us be strong and know that God is on our side. And definitely, we will surely overcome. Continue to adjust, continue to settle yourself, and things shall be well. And I believe the Lord will strengthen us. Perhaps you've been asking yourself, what are we going to do at home? You've been asking yourself, what I'm going to do? It's going to be a very strange kind of life. I'm here to encourage you and also to give you some words of wisdom so that you can be able to know what to do throughout this week and uh, in the coming uh, uh, two weeks until the 21 days. Actually, the three weeks is very short. It will soon be over as long as we are focused and we know what we are doing. I'm going to give you the word of the Lord, beloved. As I've been reading the word of the Lord, I found a lot of encouragement. And uh, I felt in my heart that this is the word of the Lord that God wants me to share with you at home. Lape Makaya, Komachayeng. As a family come together, you know, and listen to the word of the Lord. I believe this will definitely make a difference in your life. Definitely, I believe it will make a great difference in your life. I'm reading from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 
I'm reading from verses 15 to 17. And with HCSB, it says, Pay careful attention then to how you walk, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. So don't be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. When you look at it with the lexicon English Bible, it says, therefore, consider carefully how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. I would like us to pray even as we ask the Lord to give us understanding. Father, we thank you for your word because your word is powerful. You said we'll know the truth and the truth will set us free. I pray for each and everyone who's going to receive your word that you give them revelation and understanding in the knowledge of the truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My text, it's in verse 16, where the Bible says, Make the most of every opportunity in this evil days. That is New Living Translation. English Standard Version, it says, Making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Berean study Bible, it says, redeeming the times because days are evil. Days are evil. We have read from the, the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians, it's a powerful, powerful book. One of the American Baptist theologians, W.O. Cover, says this, I quote, The greatest piece of all writing of all history. That is how he describes um, the book of Ephesians. Close quote. And also, an English poet, Samuel Taylor, he calls it, I quote, the divinest composition of man. It's one of the book that it's outstanding in the Bible. If you read it, especially now that we have time, take time, read it, you'll see. It's a one of the wonderful books of the Bible. This book, it's not a reaction because the Ephesians had problems or a letter that was correcting something. But this, it is a letter for the church of Ephesus, Ephesus and also the surrounding churches that were around that they may understand what is all about the church. So it's a, it's, a, it's a book that speaks about the church. If you want to understand the purpose of the church, where it comes from, why it is there, the book of Ephesians is the right book for you to, to read. It was written by the Apostle Paul to the holy people of Ephesus. And um, it was written in the city of Ephesus, which is, was a large commercial port city in Asia Minor, present day, which is called Turkey, located at the mouth of the Geista River near the Eugene Sea. As you look into the book of Ephesians, 
you will see that Ephesus, it was a place of trade. It was the center of trade. We can say it was the place like New York or the place like South Africa in Johannesburg or in Cape Town. At that time, it was, it was like the capital city of Roman uh, Empire and as a Roman province of Asia. Ephesus was considered the gateway to Asia. So it was really a great city. In addition, just to give you a background of uh, Ephesus, it was known as a center of pagan worship, as the temple of the Greek goddess Artemis, the Roman goddess Diana. It was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world was located just outside of the city limits. It's one of the powerful area that which we can look at and learn some great things. And those of you who can have time after the coronavirus, you can go and visit Ephesus and see the greatness of the Lord because even now the trays are still there. As I said, it was written by the Apostle Paul around 60 to 61 AD. And uh, that's where Paul established the ministry um, in, in Ephesus. That church, Paul established it. He did his missionary and worked there for nearly three years as he built it and uh, led Priscilla and Aquila to be the leaders in Ephesus. Now, from where we have read, beloved, I want to give you this subject or the topic that says, make use of every opportunity. Make use of every opportunity opportunity or we can say redeeming the times redeeming the times as we have seen in the bible in the verse that which we have read it says make the most of every opportunity why because the days are evil make the best use of the time because days are evil redeeming the time because days are evil to redeem it means to buy back it means to make use to take advantage it means to take full advantage of it's the old English word that describes when something is lost and you find it again and that used to be belong to you or you buy back what used to belong to you. For example, you take something to the uh, Crusaders uh, or a pawn shop and then they give you something and then later you go and buy it back. By so doing, you are redeeming that which you have lost. So as the Bible says, we should redeem the times. There are a lot of times or opportunities that which we have lost when we are busy with other things and so forth. But now is the time that which can help us to redeem those times that which we have lost when we are busy with other things. The time here you know, in the Bible, in the Greek, we have two times. One is the chronos, which is the time for the watch that which we are using. 
And then we have Kairos, which is the season of God, or what we call the time of God. It means the opportunity, the time of God, the suitable time. It's the right moment. Meaning, we are in the time where we have to look at what is happening in our, in our situation. We have to look in our season and be able to buy back those times. We are saving the mighty God, the sovereign God. Our God is sovereign, meaning whatever he does, we have to look at what is happening in our in our situation, we have to look in our season and be able to buy back those times. We are saving the mighty God, the sovereign God. Our God is sovereign, meaning whatever he does, he will make it to reach his purposes. Whether the devil is there, whether demons are there, whether witches or wizards are there, whether coronavirus is there or not, God will reach his purpose. He's sovereign. Therefore, at this time that which God has allowed this to come, let us be able to look into our hearts in relation to God and see what God is saying with this situation. As a nation, as individuals, as communities, perhaps this is the time that God is saying, come back to me as a community, as a nation. This is the time that which God is saying, be disciplined. Do things knowing that days are evil. The Bible says days are evil. Evil there, it means bad. It means wickedness. It means maliciousness. It means slothfulness. It means days are really terrible. When you read 2 Timothy chapter 1, 3 verses 1, it says, but know this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. We are living in difficult times. The whole world is under this global pandemic. It doesn't choose whether you are rich or poor, whether you are a superpower, whether you are where you are. Something is happening. People are dying. People are going through a lot of distress. It's a very, very difficult time. It's a bad time. So this is the time where we need to redeem our time. We need to make sure, make use for the best in this time. Meaning, we have to come up with ways and means so that in this 21 days, we come up with something that will change the situation and bring about good. For the Bible says, all things... God works them together for good to them that love the Lord. I believe as a church, something good will come out from out of here, especially if we comply, especially if we take ownership and we are working together and moving forward. Galatians chapter 6 verses 10, it says, As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Let's try to do good. Let's try to do good. Let's try to make use of each and every opportunity that you are finding today. Romans chapter 13, verses 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. 
For now, our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yes, the times are getting shorter. Jesus is coming back again. He said in Matthew chapter 24 that perilous times will come. The times like this of coronavirus, diseases, it's a sign that Jesus Christ is coming. So we need to get up, be able to be on guard, be vigilant, and redeem our times and our days. Psalm 37 verses 19, it says, They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Yes, as the church of God, we don't need to fear. Psalm 91, it speaks to us. The Lord says, the pestilence will not come near you, near you and God will be our protector, will be our shield. The Bible says, God has not given us the spirit of fear or, or timidity, but of power, love, and sound mind. And I believe that as we comply, as we take ownership, we are becoming wiser and we are redeeming our times and we're making sure that this coronavirus, it is put where it's supposed to be. Yes, we can. As South Africans, together, if we can avoid to, you know, infect other people and also to be infected and we make sure that the infection rate go down. I know that things will become even much more better. Because the big, biggest problem is this. We shouldn't come to a point where the infection rate becomes so high that the people cannot even be treated in hospitals. If we can come to that point, it's going to be a disaster. It's going to be a, a terrible time. It's going to be an anarchy. And we don't want to see something like that because we have the power. We can control these things if we are able to comply and do everything on our power to make sure that we're dealing with this sketch of disease. Now, someone will say, but what is it that I can do in this time? Number one, these are the things that I can suggest to you as believers to do. One, have time of prayer. Have a program of prayer as a family. You know, because we are home, you can then come up with strategies, strategic prayers where you pray in certain times. Especially praying for us as leaders. Pray for the church, Rock of Salvation Community Church, the members across the nation. Pray. This is the time to pray, to fast, to call upon the Lord. This is not the time to idle and just to be there not doing anything. Number two, you can have time to read the Bible and study the Bible and also have Bible studies as a family and share the word and stories of the Bible and equip one another and also edify one another. And in that way, spiritually you shall be together because also this is the time for families to be together, for families to grow stronger than ever before. Number three, communicate with Christians via social media. Use your WhatsApp, use your Facebook pages. Communicate with people, encourage them, send the verses, send the word of the Lord. Encourage someone out there. And also, number four, evangelize via social network. Because if you use the social media for other things, you might find yourself trapped and falling into 
things that you're not supposed to fall into. Remember, internet is good if you use it the right way, but it's also evil and wicked. You can find yourself into deep trouble if you are not aware. Number five, develop yourself. Build yourself. Read good books. Read, you know, uh, good materials. Uh, and, and, and watch good movies, CDs, listen to the preachings, go to YouTube, go to Facebook, you know, download, look into our sermons that which Rock of Salvation have been preaching, have been preaching, a different uh, fivefold ministry have been preaching. Download that on our YouTube page. Go also on the uh, Facebook page and uh, listen to the messages so that you can be strong in your life. Number six, exercise. Because this is the time where a lot of people can get weight because you are sitting at home, you are eating, you are not doing anything. Number seven, which is lastly, take care of your diet. Don't just eat everything, but just be careful what you eat and let's continue to socially distance ourselves and wash our hands and continue to pray to the Lord. And I believe as we are redeeming our times, as we are making use of this opportunity, that God may use us at this time, something good can come out. After 21 days, you can be much more wiser, much more stronger. You can have more wisdom. You can come out with clear mind. Take it again as a way of a holiday where God is saying this is the time to spend with your family, spend with yourself. You can do introspection. You can fix things that were not fixed because we're busy going up and down. Now is the time where you can be able to rectify your mistake and help yourself. And I believe that as you do that, the Lord will strengthen you. May the Lord bless you as you meditate about this word, as you grow in this word, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for you. I want to pray that the Lord may strengthen you and keep you wherever you are. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah the Messiah, King of glory, we worship you, adore you, we thank you for your word that is encouraging us and showing us the way. Oh Lord, our God, thank you, Father, to give us direction and give us wisdom by Holy Spirit to know what to do. You said we should redeem the times for the days are evil. Indeed, oh God, Days are evil. I pray for those that are sick at home. Lord, touch them. I pray for those that, Father, who are financially in need. That, Lord, you may make a way for them. I pray, Father, for those that there's no peace in their homes. That you bring peace in their lives. Those who are far from you. I pray even as they come closer to you, may your word penetrate in them that they may come to the knowledge of the truth in the name of Jesus. You who are saying, you know, I've heard the word, how can I become a child of God? It's very simple. Decide in your heart and repent and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your heart. And you can pray with me this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. I repent from all my sins and from today, I'll follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer and you want to have contact with us, you'll see the numbers on the screens. You can WhatsApp us. And you can also log in in our Facebook page and you can communicate with us.
for you to be continue to be, to be blessed continue to do what is best this is not the time to fold your arms and say well they said we should stay home therefore even church i'll see them after 21 days god bless you si anitanda reale rata ya neranda reale boga kalibitsela jeso god bless you god bless you